Hi, this is Brendan from Watto Training, and in this tutorial, we take a look at turning left in a heavy combination vehicle. What defines a HC heavy combination vehicle? A prime mover of more than 15 ton GBM with at least three axles and semi trailer with at least two axles. A truck more than 15 ton GBM with at least three axles and a trailer more than nine ton GBM with at least two axles. Do not overtake turning vehicle sign. Trucks or vehicles over 7.5 meters long displaying a do not overtake turning vehicle sign are allowed to use more than one lane to turn. Road users are not allowed to overtake heavy vehicles while they are turning with these signs fitted. Road users need to be encouraged to understand heavy vehicle road rules. Trucks need more space when turning. Heavy vehicles need more room to make turns and their blind spots are much larger than cars. Be prepared to give extra room when a heavy vehicle uses an indicator. The blind spot diagram on the left shows shaded in blue, the blind spots located immediately in front of the truck beside the truck driver's door, on the passenger side which runs the length of the truck and extends out three lanes, and directly behind the truck. Semi-trailers need more space to turn wide or cut into traffic than a car or motorcycle, so allow enough space on either side of your vehicle to avoid sideswiping other road users or objects. Apply the system of vehicle control. By correct application of the system, the vehicle will always be in the correct place, traveling at the correct speed, with the correct gear engaged. Let's take a look at that in a plan view setting. So the steps in the system of vehicle control. Step one, plan your corner. You, number two, Mirror check so you have an awareness of what's coming up from behind, if, if anything. Number three, indicate with the left indicator. Four, lower your speed, coming off the accelerator, working down the gears, checking the positioning as well, giving way to the vehicles on the T-section, and then if, if and when clear, moving around to the left. Vehicle positioning is critical in heavy combination vehicles. At intersections, you may have to swing wide to make a left turn. At marked intersections, position your vehicle so that any vehicles behind cannot pass, your, pass on your left. Position yourself to get the best view possible of the road you are turning into. When turning left, you may need to position the vehicle to the right of your lane before beginning the turn, or do the opposite when turning right to allow extra clearance for cut-in. How does that look in real life? We can see in the diagram on the left and the right, first of all on the left, look at the positioning of the prime mover, that's the truck. And then in the right diagram, Take a look at where the back wheels are tracking. So the driver has to, has to strategically position the prime mover such that the back wheels don't mount up on the curb. And you can see that in the red arrow there as well, where the, where the front wheels are tracking on the left and where the back wheels on the trailer are tracking in the right picture. Avoid turning too soon because the side of your vehicle may hit vehicles on your right as the back of your vehicle cuts into the turn. Could be a curb, could be a pole, a sign, anything like that, a tree. HC drivers need to start the left turn further into the intersection than a car so that the back wheels do not run over the curb, as shown in the diagram. On sharp turns, you may even need to begin your turn from an outside lane, which is not marked as a turning lane, a non-assigned lane. In conclusion, the following are some important points to observe when making sharp or restricted turns to the left. Keep a constant watch on traffic movements in your mirrors throughout the turn. 
Use your turn signals and brake lights to give other drivers as much warning of your intentions as possible. Correctly position the vehicle on the road as it approaches the intersection or junction. Drive into the intersection or junction more deeply than normal and using your mirrors, check that the rear wheels have reached the correct position, position before you start the turn. Use your mirrors to make a final check on surrounding traffic before turning and to maintain a check on your vehicle clearance, especially as affected by cut-in during the turn. Watch carefully for drivers who may attempt to overtake on the inside of your vehicle. This is especially important when making a turn from a non-assigned lane, as previously mentioned. Thanks for watching. This has been Brendan from Watto Training.